Tinnitus is Shop Talk. I'm Chiki Roopuno. Franchising has proven to be a reliable and profitable business model. And so big and small enterprises alike have ventured into franchising to grow their businesses. Now, if you have a considerable capital in your hands, you may want to consider franchising big brands that have established names and business processes. We'll start off with local donut company, Gonuts Donuts. And we are joined today by Tina Lagdameo, the marketing director of Gonuts Donuts. And nice. Macy B. But they're franchise manager, Tina and Macy. Hello, 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 the dynamic hello. duo. Yes. <laughs> it's true, it's true. Yeah, yeah, welcome to Shop Talk. Talk. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so you guys have been around for 2003, seven yes. years. Yes. Turning yes. seven. Turning seven this December. December. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Boy, time flies. Huh? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And donuts, right. donuts, donuts is so different now from what it used to be seven years ago. Yes. Like how? Well, for one, we've really expanded. Um, from the first time we opened in December 2003, we now have over 40 stores oh, wow. in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Even our, our product lineup has diversified. Um, we have a lot more donut variants available. We also have other savory lines available in, in Gonuts Donuts. Mm -hmm. so what is that? We have um, pizza, mm -hmm. but it's in the shape of a donut. Mm -hmm. So we call it Gonuts Pizza. Mm -hmm. But like our donut that have fillings inside our pizzas have like fillings of cheese inside as oh, well oh yeah. that's different and, yes. and whose idea was that where did you pattern that after um well because our expertise is making dough mm -mm. so pizza also uses dough so okay. that's why we thought of that and it's a different way of eating pizzas mm -hmm. so in one box you can have like 12 different kinds of flavors, flavors and you can all share without having to compromise what flavor you want to eat mm -hmm. right oh, that's right yeah people actually wanted to look for something savory mm. nothing just not something sweet but something savory yeah. mm -hmm. so this was yeah. a good way of introducing something savory mm -hmm. with gonuts donuts which was we're not really known for but mm -hmm. with the pizza it's been very popular yeah. so now they can come to your stores for lunch and dessert exactly yeah. 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 yeah because that's nice also because you want to fight the with the yeah. exactly okay and I, you know, I still remember when you used to have to line up <laughs> <laughs> sometimes for hours actually yeah. at the fort your very first right. outlet right. Right. Yeah. and now we're up to 40. Yes. How much, Macy, how many are franchises and how many are Well, are right now, owned? franchise stores, we have around 14. Okay. All the remaining stores are all company-owned stores. Mm -hmm. yeah. All over Metro Manila, as far as, as, far as Lipa, Batangas. Mm -hmm. We have also in Bulacan, Baliwag, which are franchise stores already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, mostly Luzon, wala pa Visayas, Mindanao. Right. right now, yeah. none, none. Are you Are you open to the idea? Of course, of course definitely. definitely. It's already what we call an area development arrangement, where you take care of the entire territory, you'll produce your own donuts, yeah. we'll teach you the technology, mm -hmm. and you can service your outlets right from the within the island. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can have a lot of stores under that you one can franchise. You can service a lot of stores yeah. under mm -hmm. that one franchise. And you're not worried about maintaining the, the consistency of the product because it's malayo. We are very proud of our yeah. R and D and technical team. Yes. They're very good. They train us very. They train you very well. Yeah. It's a very. It's a three month process, and plus we also do our own quality control and co and audits. Yes. Mm -hmm. Every so often to make sure <coughs> the quality. So you do check all the time. Yes, course. definitely. Are all your stores, Tina, the, like the one in the fourth where it, it's open? It's like a showroom. They can watch the. No, the no. Uh, we have different like, kinds. Mm -hmm. We have mm -hmm. as as small as a kiosk, mm -hmm. and then we have in what we call inline stores where it's not exactly a dining in but it's a little bigger mm -hmm. and then we have a full on um, retail store, retail right. store where we line in, line in and the and full line of yeah. espresso drinks mm -hmm. exactly okay and then we have a, a big big um, commissary where the donuts are made mm -hmm. and we have people come we have what we call magical tours mm -hmm. where kids um, see the whole donut making process the so magic behind yeah donut making. every day there are hundreds of kids that come I've to the factory and, yeah I, yeah I remember seeing they see how it's dressed them. up exactly. it goes through the glaze yeah. They, yeah. it turns from white to golden brown mm -hmm. so at the plant does and then they, they you know they just they smell, smell it all <laughs> time so that's exactly a plus. yeah well, well today because we want to talk about you know those with more money to you know mm -hmm. to invest in because we teach them also how to do small business enterprises. Yeah. But now, if you really want to go for the, the bigger names, the bigger brands, well, 
Tell me a little bit about, about the about franchising for for Gonas Donuts. For one thing, I know you are a local brand, so yes, there's the are. royalty that you don't have to pay with you. Yes, uh, 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 foreign, foreign, yes. foreign, yes. foreign. And in fact, exactly. with our own franchisees, we don't charge royalty fees right now. Mm. Yeah. Okay. We are, we want them to experience full on their sales and the performance of their stores. Mm. So we, like Tina was saying, mm. there are stores that we call. Um, carts or kiosks so there are different categories based on size mm -hmm. so a store can start up as small as um, 100,000 and go up to as half a million yeah. to a full-on retail store yeah. and then the area big, development the area, area development is quite big because yeah. you have to invest into the production facilities exactly so you're yeah. looking at around 1 million for the franchise fee and then about and then the capex 10, is million, 10, 10 to 15 million for mm -hmm. the capital that you will need yeah. to put up your entire business okay. yeah. so it's it's unique in the way that you can gauge first by a smaller like a kiosk yes. to see if it, this is a good place and right. then you just expand you can progress yes, yes and another exactly. good thing about the franchise packages we have now we segregated a certain brand which we call Gobblers, which are our more friendly, affordable, affordable line. And this is a three for ten. No, mm -hmm. that's donuts. Yeah. That's, oh that's another oh one. Pal. So it's really yeah. it's a broad range of um, consumers that we would like to cater mm -hmm. to. Entrepreneurs would want to try something exactly. new. Mm -hmm. So we have something that start starts off at twenty seven thousand nine hundred ninety nine. That's good for like people who want to venture into small startup businesses. Like micro carts. Yeah, who are afraid, naman, to you know shell out a huge amount, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. they just want to start dabbling and. To a be, yeah, mm -hmm. a business. So that's a different concept okay. that's called donuts. Then we stuff. move on to the, the bigger, gobblers. the gobblers, which are 13, 13 pesos. Mm -hmm. Donuts. That's the value line. Value line. Yeah. So it's roughly. What that is smaller pesos. or? No, no, no. It's the same. There's no different. It's a different formula, yeah. but there's still the premium quality that a donuts yeah. donuts brand will okay. give you. Yeah. So it's a. Then we move up. Then we have the like the four four to five square meter kiosks, and then we have the twenty to forty five square. So you can stores. basically work with any kind of prospective franchise. Yes, yes. Of course, yeah. And we'll work with whatever the whatever and any size, space, any, yeah, space any requirements. Yeah. Because given our line, you don't necessarily have to carry the entire line mm -hmm. for us. Mm -hmm. You don't necessarily have the espresso line. You don't necessarily have to have um, the, uh, the pizza, the, pizza mm -hmm. the gobblers. So that's why. We try to make it flexible to each because mm -hmm. not all markets carry the gobbler are mm -hmm. not as receptive to the gobbler line. Like mm -hmm. For example, we have a store which dedicates purely to, to the, the regular, stores, to the regular right. brand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then we have other stores who are very heavy on the gobbler line. Mm -hmm. So we can design or model a package for you. So it's nice to see that you guys really, you know, you study your market and then you you venture out and you risk you parang trial and error. If this doesn't work, then okay, we'll try something else right. or maybe, eh, which is good because, siguro by now you've almost like um, perfected or really identified your market and you know how to sell to them. But staying competitive, I know, is uh, you know because. Well, the competition out yes, there. Yes, it's very true. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so, what do you do? Well, for one, as you said, we're a local brand, mm. so we like we are proudly Filipino. Filipino brand. And as you said, we know the market, so we also know the palate of the Filipinos because mm -hmm. we've been in the food industry for over 40 years with mm -hmm. brands of Coney Island yeah, ice cream, Mr. Juicy, mm -hmm. um, Wamo. So we really know what they like mm -hmm. um, like our donut one of our best sellers is pastillas de leche mm -hmm. so we're really into product innovations mm -hmm. which is one of our strengths mm -hmm. which is how we can stay competitive mm -hmm. the brand will never be dull because nga, all the time we have new yeah new products coming out we also actually have it like t this year we launched the type with disney yeah i saw with the yeah, disney yeah we have mickey mouse donuts yes, yes. <laughs> so nobody else can carry those exactly yeah. officially so. anyway not officially anyway. right what, what what flavor is it though um it's white chocolate or mm -hmm. milk chocolate oh, there's winnie the pooh. yeah there's yeah, winnie the pooh. Pooh. There's there's so, so it's seasonal like mm -hmm. for christmas we'll have another set of disney characters yeah. that will be coming out great great christmas. yeah you guys still eat your donuts? Yes, you yeah. have to. It's, it's part of the job. It's, it's like you cannot say no. Yeah, yeah. You, have to, you have to taste always. A lot of people the can't say no. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, they know how to get in touch with you. I'm sure if they have any more questions about franchising, but it's good for them to know that there's so many ways to franchise with Gonuts Donuts. Yes. So they have a lot of money, a little bit of money. There's something in it for them. Definitely. Thank you, Macy and Tina, for joining us here today, and best of luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. We're taking a short break, and when we come back, we'll talk about how to franchise a leading fast food. Stay tuned for that. The Chop Talk will be right back.